with Christmas just around the corner, we're going to show you how to make this amazing clementine cocktail. Because you're going to find clementines everywhere and this cocktail is going to blow all your friends and family away. Absolutely one of my favourite cocktails. There's two homemade elements to this cocktail. You've got the clementine whiskey and you've got the orange bitters. Of course you can buy orange bitters, but where's the fun in that? But I'm going to start off making your clementine whiskey. You're going to want about seven or eight clementines and it's really simple. All you've got to do is peel them, pop them into a clean washed jar and top it up with the whiskey. Pour yourself another cocktail whilst you're making your cocktail. That's what I tend to do. <laughs> Pro tip about vermouths, if you ever find that you're not going to get through a whole bottle very quickly, what you want to do is actually store it in the fridge because vermouth is wine. So by putting it in the fridge, you're going to slow down it churning to vinegar. Very simply, pop it in your nice clean jar, take your bottle of whiskey, entire bottle, be brave, and just upend it into the jar. Pop the lid on. This is going to go on a shelf, a clean dry place for a fortnight and we're going to move on to making the orange bitters. It's really simple, it's more citrus but then that's what we're here for. You're going to get vodka. You're only going to need about 200ml so you just use any opened bottle you may have lying around. The peel from one orange, chuck it in your clean jar, four good size cardamom pods. Crush them real quick using a flat of the knife, let the flavour out, or let the vodka in, depending on your point of view. About four or five cloves, about a teaspoon of sugar, no more, just to add a little bit of balance to your flavours. This is a 50ml measure, so you're just going to want four of it. Just give it a real quick stir to dissolve your sugar going to just pop a lid on and put it next to your clementine whiskey so you don't forget it. What we have here are ones that I made about a fortnight ago so they're ready to actually be strained and used in a cocktail. Much the same as your clementine whiskey you're going to want to just strain off your orange bitters as well. Really simple bowl, sieve, pour it through and it smells amazing. It's just, it's really Christmassy. You're never going to drink this neat. If you drink this neat, the godspeed to you. Just take a little bit of ice and pop it to one side. If you're better than me and you like to plan ahead, you can always just pop the martini glass nice and empty into your freezer. But this is a nice little 10 minute bodgy way of chilling your glass. Key to any good cocktail is plenty of ice, no matter what. You might think it's ex excessive, it's not. A double shot of your whiskey straight in then you're gonna take your red vermouth and you're gonna flip your shaker over and pour in a single shot of him single shot being 25 mil a double shot being 50 your bitters about one bar spoons worth in there you're gonna give it a stir now the reason we're stirring it is to dissolve the ice so the friction of the stirring is going to dissolve the ice, you're adding water into your cocktail. So you're really mellowing out the flavour and pour it straight into the martini glass. I don't think there's enough orange in this already. Wipe it around the rim of the glass, really coat the rim with the oils and just drop it in. And there you go, that's your Manhattan. Oh, of course I'm going to try it. <laughs> Amazing, absolutely one of my favourite cocktails. I really encourage you to try it at home. If you do, please leave a comment, let us know how you got on. If you've got any more ideas, also just leave a little comment. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and stay tuned for more weekly veg hacks.